As a young man, Guy Laribete was a dreamer and a visionary, and was not content with living a normal life. His first dream was to travel, and so at the age of 17, he left his home in Quebec, Canada, with his father's accordion and went to Europe, where he found his love for entertaining people. Upon his return to Canada, Guy joined a street performing group as a fire breather and a stilt walker. From there, he started a street performing festival for the street performers of Quebec. As he said in an interview for Fortune magazine, up to then the attitude was, invite the street performers, pay them a sandwich and they'll be happy. You manage the money you got out of the hat and learn to be disciplined with what you got. But finally, in 1984, during Quebec's 450th anniversary of Jacques Cartier's discovery of Canada, Guy convinced the organizers to let him do a tour of his group, and so Cirque du Soleil was born. For Guy, success in Canada was not enough. He had a great vision, and in 1987, he took all his money and packed up Cirque du Soleil in Canada and brought it to California. In an interview with 2020, he said, We basically took our last penny, put everything on a train and truck, and sent it to Los Angeles. If we didn't succeed there, we probably would not have enough money to ship our equipment back to Canada. The move, however, was successful, and Cirque du Soleil started touring the United States, firstly in Santa Monica, and then in New York. In 1990, Cirque did its first tour of Europe, with shows in London and Paris, and in 1992, Cirque opened its first show in Las Vegas, Mystere, which did 480 shows at 92% occupancy in its first year. From small beginnings to a raging success, today Cirque du Soleil has 20 out-of-this-world shows that have been seen by more than 300 million people on five continents. The reason for his success can be attributed to the amazing leadership of Guy Laliberte and Daniel Lemari. As creative director and founder, Guy has shown many of the leadership truths that we are learning about in this very class. First and foremost, he has shown that leadership is an act of the heart. This is clear in everything he does. As creative director, he puts his heart and soul in every show that he makes. It's not just a concept, it's a lifestyle. G also shows true servant leadership. He himself started as a street performer, and so he knows what it means to perform and be on stage. Indeed, challenges is crucible for greatness, and Cirque has been guided through many challenges by its great leaders. In the early days of Cirque when G was still performing, many of the crew wanted to keep the company as a one-show touring event. But G had bigger visions and bigger plans. He saw many shows before they were even there and decided to create new shows. Many of his original team disowned him, but G kept pushing on, despite the opposition. Cirque du Soleil has many values they wish to share. One is to uphold the integrity of our creative process. The second is to recognize and respect each individual's contribution to his or her body of work. The third one is to extend the limits of possible. The fourth is to draw their inspiration from artistic and cultural diversities. And finally, the fifth is to encourage and promote the potential of youth. Cirque du Soleil's mission is to invoke the imagination, to provoke the senses, and to evoke the emotions of people around the world. Cirque du Soleil strives to position itself in the community as a responsible proponent of change. They are dedicated to the creation, production, and performance of artistic works. They do this by having cultural diversity within the company as well as to promote individuality. Cirque du Soleil's company culture is of innovation and creativity that encourages honesty and judgment when ideas are explored. Cirque is always looking for and love people in the company to bring different viewpoints as well as a diverse group of people, ideas, ambitions, and influences. The culture of innovation values are inspired by challenges, cultivating honesty, and diversity. Cirque du Soleil has a very strong culture. We know this by the fact that they were proven success since 1982, which was all this was based on their culture. With Cirque du Soleil having more than 5,000 employees from over 50 countries performing 20 plus shows in over 270 cities around the world, motivation serves no problem for them. The employees are given tons of creative freedom as well as a voice. Cirque du Soleil is more of a family than anything. Cirque du Soleil motivates their employees in many ways. All year long, they have fun and exciting activities and entertainment for them. They also get amazing travel benefits as well as health benefits. 
Employee parties are also frequently thrown. This is not only for the enjoyment of the cast of the shows, but it is also a way to check out new cast members in a fun and stress-free environment. Quand il s'agit de la gestion quotidienne de l'entreprise, le PDG, Daniel Lemaré, est l'homme de la situation. Il s'assure que l'entreprise gagne de l'argent et prend les décisions importantes. Il fait également des affaires et signe des contrats. Si le Cirque du Soleil était un navire, Daniel serait le capitaine pilotage de la direction de la société en gardant les voiles ouvertes. Qui, d'autre part, serait le premier compagnon de balancer hors du mât et en s'assurant que les voiles sont arrimées. Il est le directeur créatif pour tous les spectacles du Cirque du Soleil et personnellement responsable pour les lignes de l'histoire et des idées derrière les spectacles. Il est un génie et il est très créatif. Quelle merveille que ce serait rendre visite à ses pensants pour une journée. As a leader, Guy shows all the characteristics of charisma. He is a visionary, energizing, and enabling person. How so you ask? Well, let me explain. Today, Cirque has over 20 shows, but that was not always the case. Guy had the vision to see more than one show, but he didn't stop there. He was able to articulate his vision, and now we have the Cirque we all love today. It only takes one moment to realize that Guy exudes energy. He shows excitement about his work and is extremely confident in who he is. As a leader, Guy is enabling. Empathizing is a large part of being an enabler. Guy is able to express empathy for his performers simply because he was one. He understands what it means to be on stage and perform. And that is why he is a great leader and is full of charisma. He leads by example. Afin de mieux communiquer avec son public et d'atteindre toutes les personnes dans le monde qui les suivent, Cirque du Soleil utilise les médias sociaux tels que Twitter, Facebook et Instagram. Sur ces sites, il donne des mises à jour de spectacles, d'événements et vitrines derrière les clips de scène de ceux qui travaillent. Tout cela est de donner leur expérience, faisant de ce que c'est que de faire partie du Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil continue to grow, both in the United States and around the world. In 2011, Cirque du Soleil sold over $1 billion dollars in tickets and sales for 2013 are looking to be even higher. What started as a dream for Guy Lalibete has turned into a global phenomenon. Over the past three decades, Cirque has transported more than 300 million viewers into a world of wonder. The uniqueness of this company stems from its leader as he continues to imagine and create new experiences for the world to witness. As a group, we decided that working for Cirque would be a dream come true and that really, there is nothing to change in the company. Cirque du Soleil is a truly brilliant company, and if we have not convinced you, we challenge you to take a look for yourself. <laughs>